welcome back to another video to my channel and today yes guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know if I've done this no I don't think I've done it guys I'm gonna go ahead and show you probably one of my most favorite teams that I've ever used on this game one of my favorite teams guys and obviously the leader is being none other than Super Saiyan Kefla herself uh, the fusion of Kiron Khalifa uh, she's a uh, category leader, which she can obtain quite easily from her banner, uh, considering she's not a Dokkan festival unit, number one, and the banner she's in is a guaranteed SSR unit, and there's only five guaranteed SSRs you get from the banner as the featured unit, and she's one of them. So it's going to be pretty, you know, it's not going to not going to be that difficult to get her, um, especially it's guaranteed SSR. So as you can see, her. Uh, category leader is the Patara Earrings uh, characters, so she has, uh, like I said, her category leader is basic characters with Patara Earrings, the Patara Fusion, that's the lead, that's the category uh, leader for her, Patara Fusion, and obviously if you have the Patara Fusion characters on this team, uh, then you're gonna get uh, Patara Fusion characters get key plus 2, HP attack and defense 120% increase. Uh, for now, we haven't gotten a uh, Dokkan Awakening for her because uh, they haven't released it. Like they they did the same with Ultra Instinct and Goku, but I guess it is what it is. Um, her super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense to the opponent. Now, this passive that she has is actually quite crazy. Um, in fact, let me check it out for you. I'll be right back with the pass. So yeah, I'm back right now, guys. And yes, her uh, super attack gigantic blast causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers the defense. Now her passive skill. So she changes into key spheres into physical key spheres. And she's a physical type. Okay, so she's a all manipulator. Int key spheres to a physical key spheres. Attack and defense increases every time she obtains a physical key sphere obtained every time she obtains a physical key uh, key sphere so she's a nuka attack and defense is increased up by 10% medium chance to dodge the enemy attack so she's an old manipulator a nuka and she can dodge all three of them okay not only that but she guarantees to get an additional attack after she does her normal attack and that's guaranteed additional attack has a medium chance to be a super attack like she is beyond broken this Kefla is beyond broken guys I'm telling you right now she's beyond broken guys I don't know what to say about this woman but yeah I'm glad I got her but yeah uh, she's got the Super Saiyan link uh, she's got uh, Battlefield Divas uh, I think that's what it's called uh, then power pistol by God I think yes um, attack 2500 when um, a super attack is released um, Universe 6 uh, Warriors, key plus 2 of course, and to top it off, um, these are basically the Tournament of Arc, uh, tournament, of, tournament of Arc Link, where all the characters get 3 key I think, yeah, all the characters get 3 key, so yeah that's pretty good as well, so pretty decent, uh, pretty decent I must say, and this is the, uh, this is the Patara Fusion, uh, Patara, not the Patara Fusion, I mean Patara Earrings. So every, anyone who's wearing the Patara Earrings has it. Yeah, Patara Fusion, basically. Um, yeah, Kabito Kai, he's a Patara Fusion. So basically all the Patara Fusion characters are linked with it. The reason why Goku Black, Ella Goku Black um, and uh, Zamasu are in it is because they, they have the Kai Earrings. Um, and then they do later on fuse into Merge the Master, which is why Merge the Master is in this as well. Uh, so it makes sense that they are there. But well, otherwise all the the rest of the characters are basically all Patara fusion characters. Vegito, uh, basically a bunch of Vegitos, uh, base form Vegito, Super Vegito, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito I believe is in here, yeah, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Super Saiyan Rose Black. So all of these characters are in there guys, so amazing characters. Uh, so yeah, she is my leader. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my team build for it. So I'm going to start off with my most recent um, Dokkan Festival unit pool. We're on a single summon. 
my D on a single summon, guys. So it's the new physical Super Vegito. Uh, I am so damn I got him. He's also a category leader. However, his category leader is the Margin Buot category leader. Uh, so, but we are not talking about that category today. Um, I will be putting him into the Potara Fusion team. Why? Because this Super Vegito apparently by Dokkan experts that he's probably the hardest hitter in the game right now because of his um so if you check out his um super attack it's a spirit sword it increases 30% attack uh to all allies for one turn um same as the agility one um if you check out his passive though so his passive skill uh I've been I've spoken about it before um, of how iffy it is uh he he reduces incoming damage by 50%. Normal attacks only, not super attacks. So he receives, he reduces incoming normal attacks by 50%. And every time he gets hit, his attack goes up by 10% and goes up to a maximum of 100%. Now that's that's where I had the problem with this man. It's the fact that the maximum that he's capped on is 100%. For a category leader, eh, yeah, I don't feel it. Like even. Yeah, I would have expected, like, for, if you remember, Super 17 has this skill as well. Super 17, I think his attack increases by 30% every time he gets hit. I'm not, I can't remember for sure. Um, but yeah, his ca his goes to a maximum of 120%. So if a 120% god leader is getting it to 120% attack for maximum, why is someone a category leader like this man who's a beast... He hits really hard, don't get me wrong, he's, apparently he's one of the hardest hitters in the game, apparently. Um, you know, I can't really test that because he's not level 10 and I don't have the dupe system to go to his full uh, potential. But, he's known to be one of the hardest hitters, but, you know, for someone as OP as him, why? I don't know if it's cause that he's one of the hardest, hardest hitters and he's OP that they've capped it at 100%, but I expected it to be at least 120%. Because, you know, some, most of the category leaders have 120% attack, except Angel Golden Freezer, who has 150% attack uh, and 50% defense. So, you know, it is what it is, but he still hits uh, plenty hard, uh, despite, you know, having that 100% cap. And his counter, attacks, his counter attacks are beautiful, guys. He hits like a truck. That I can say for sure after using him. So... Uh, as you can see, he's got the Golden Warrior link, um, where you decrease the opponent's defense by 2,000, get yourself one key to whoever you are connected with. Uh, Super Saiyan 10% attack increase, uh, prepared for battle. Uh, he's got... Hmm, in... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this link? In Fighter link? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what that link is. Um... Power Pistol by God, which also Kefla has it, so those two will, will be able to link quite well. Uh, fused, a Fused Fighter. Um, yeah, Fused Fighter, so I'm pretty sure Kefla has it as well. Like, pretty sure, yeah, Kefla has it. Fused Fighter link, so that comes in really well. You know, the Patara Fusion category. There's one thing I can, well, I'll explain it at the end. And um, Fierce Battle, 15% attack increase. Now, you know, Kefla doesn't have that link because she doesn't have a Dokkan Awakening yet. So, uh, there's that. Um, but obviously, 15% attack increase. And he he falls under the uh, Patara Fusion uh, category. So, yeah. Really awesome character. So, he's probably one of the characters that I will put in my team for sure. Now, and my next character in this team is Merzamasu. Now, Merzamasu... It's basically the fusion of uh, Goku Black and Zamasu becoming Merge Zamasu. This guy hits like a truck. Uh, he hits so damn hard. If there's one problem I have with him, it's his passive. So his passive skill, so let's talk about a super attack first. His super attack causes immense damage, uh, greatly lowers defense to the enemy. Now, if you look at his passive skill, um, he gets he gets 120% uh, attack increase to himself. He gi he gives himself 120% attack increase, which is awesome, absolutely awesome. Only problem is he reduces his allies' attack by 10%. Uh, I don't know if it's his allies' super type allies or just allies in general. I'm not sure, 
Let me just check that out. Um, um, Mezumasu. Uh, I think it's just, um, yeah. So yeah, so he reduces 20%, he reduces 10% attack for all super type allies. Um, so it's not just, um, it's not um, all allies, but only to uh, super type allies, he reduces 10%. So that would really affect characters that are having this Patara Fusion team. Uh, so someone like uh, Super Vegito, that would affect him quite a bit. Uh, but nonetheless, he is an absolutely awesome character. When he's not in the turn, then the super type characters will be hitting like crazy. When he is in the turn, then yeah, okay, he can, yeah, that's a little bit of a thing. But to be honest, he's awesome. This man's awesome. He hits really hard. And I wish I had duped for him, because I can see him hit so damn hard. So, he's the second character in my team, and obviously he's a tech unit, so I want to put, you know, various, you know, different units uh, within the fusion, within the Patara fusion category leader to make a diverse team with different types in it. Uh, my next character, being one of my one of my most favorite characters in my JP account, and probably one of my hardest hitters in my JP account, none other than Super Saiyan Rose Black. Now, this man... I love this man, I love this man, this man is absolutely crazy, um, causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers defense, uh, his passive skill, he uh, gets a 100% attack increase, um, okay just, just a second, yeah he gets a 100% attack increase and with the dupe system he can, he can hit really damn hard guys. Um, like, as you can see, I've got 17 additionals uh, and 9 crits on him. I would change it. I am thinking of changing it soon, guys. For him, I would. I am thinking of changing it uh, to uh, 12 additionals and 15 crits, maybe? Yeah, I might do that. I might do that soon. That goes really well with him. Uh, I want him to crit more, obviously. Um, so yeah, this man here, his passive skill, he gives extreme type allies three key and he gives himself 100% attack increase at the start of turn. Amazing, amazing skill to have. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he gets a, oh yeah, Medzumasu. Forgot to check out the links for Medzumasu, you guys know it anyways. Um, so wait, where is it? Yeah, uh, Godly Fighter, attack 15%, uh, Fear and Faith two key to each other. Uh, fused fighter to key again. Um, uh, I think this is future trunks arc where you get one key. Um, big bad bosses, you get attack and defense 25% of HP, 80% of below, and uh, fierce battle. So, very good links. Uh, Goku Black has very similar links to Mezumasu. Uh, big bad bosses again, attack and defense 25%. And HP is 80% or below. Fierce Battle, 15% increase. Um, he's got very similar skills to Murder Zamasu. Uh, fused Fight, well, prepared for battle, no, not Fused Fight. I mean, uh, I think Murder Zamasu's one was. Um, was it prepared for battle or was it Fused Fight? I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got very similar skills. Uh, link set to Murder Zamasu, Fear and Faith. Um, and Super Saiyan, of course, so he gets that 10% additional and 10% attack. Uh, let me just check this man here. Uh, yeah, he's got Fused Fire. This man has Fused Fire because both Zamasu and Black are fused. Whereas Black doesn't because he's just not, he's not fused. He's his own character. He's just one person. So yeah, uh, I would say that Goku Black's best friend is Merge Zamasu. And they both go really well with each other. And when these guys are both linked with... Uh, Big Bad Bosses uh, uh, link activated, they hit so damn hard, I'm telling you. Um, and with uh, Goku Black, um, I'm literally one dupe away from 100% ting uh, to... Sorry, I can't even talk. I am one dupe away from getting him to 100% on the dupe system. Uh, so I am really, really interested in getting him soon so that I can actually get him to 100%. Um, so, my next character in this would be my man, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Now, Super Saiyan Blue 
Vegito is one of the characters that I got quite a while ago in JP and I only awakened him after getting Kefla, in all honesty. Um, because, you know, I wasn't... don't know why I, it took me so long. Uh, so I might have to train him on with some Kai's, so is my Super Vegito. But yeah, this guy would link with Super Vegito so damn well. I have to do his dupe system as well, I know. Um, so I haven't done much with this guy, but I would love to do some uh, dupe systems with him. Um, Super Saiyan 10% attack. Um, he gets a uh, Kamehameha link, uh, 2,500 attack increase when Super Attack is launched. But prepared for battle, uh, you guys know what prepared for battle is. Power Pestod by God, 2,500 attack increase when um, Super Attack is launched once again. Fused Fighter, uh, over in a flash, a very solid skill, a link skill. Unfortunately, I don't think anyone in this um, team does have over in the flash, so this won't be that viable. But the fusion, the fused fighter link would come in clutch with the other characters, pretty much all characters uh, except Goku Black. Um, so they will come in. Yeah, it will be very solid for uh, him to get some key pretty quickly. And fierce battle to finish it off. This guy is awesome. He does the final Kamehameha, which causes uh, immense damage to the enemy. Doesn't do any attack or defense uh, decrease to the opponent though. However, um, after he releases his attack, he can do up to uh, two additional attacks. Uh, two additional attacks and two of those additional attacks being a rare chance to be a super attack. And he reduces incoming damage by uh, normal attacks only by 30%. And counter attacks with tremendous power. But obviously when you do the dupe system, he's going to tank even more. So, which is why I want to do this, um, which is why I want to do this dupe system and get him to level 10 as soon as possible. So yeah, like I said, probably, probably a beastly character in my team. Uh, now, my last character I want to use is, where is this man? I know I have this man, but I can't seem to find him. I always have problems to find this man. <laughs> um... There you go. So as you can see, base form Vegito. Now I could either put this intelligence Vegito there or the tech Vegito. Now, you know, either way should be fine to be honest, cause uh, both of them are really good. But in this case, I would put end up putting my intelligence Vegito. Now you guys are probably thinking if you put your tech Vegito, it's better cause tech Vegito boosts your allies attacks more. Um, as his passive skill, he boosts everyone's attacks by 30%, doesn't he? Uh, so, you know, why not go for uh, Tech Vegito? It's because of the typing, like I said, I like to keep a diverse team for my category teams, uh, which is why I want to put Intelligence on it, because I don't think I have an Intelligence unit there, which is why I'm going to put Intelligence Vegito. Intelligence Vegito does uh, Big Bang Attack, causes uh, supreme damage to the enemy, and 20% attack increase to all allies for one turn. That would change when he does Dalkan Awaken, which is what I need to do. I need to Dalkan Awaken this man soon enough. Uh, so he goes into my team uh, quite well with the Fierce Battle link and all the other links there. But even without that, he's got some really good links. Uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, 700 attack. Um, attack and defense 10%. Oh, what is this link? Don't know what that link is, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, he does have Prepared for Battle though. And he also has Fused Fighter and Power Pistol by God. Uh, so very good link skills. Um, yeah, I would have to awaken him so that he does get Fierce Battle. Um, so I can just go ahead and put him in. And the attacking push would be more. Now, like I said, I could test the Intelligence Vegito out. And then intel uh, test out the Tech Vegito out. And see which one goes well more. Um because this guy is pretty much an ultimate. Between the two Vegitos, base form Vegito, the tech one is more of a support unit where the intelligence one is a offensive unit because his passive skill is uh, he increases his attack by 10% every time um, every time he collects a key sphere uh, obtained. I'm pretty sure that's why it is. Let me just check it out uh, to make sure. Um, let me just make sure of that. Uh, so his passive skill, yeah, every time he collects a key sphere, his attack increases by 10%. And when it Dokkan awakens, I think he goes to 
every time he collects that key sphere. So he would be a new he's a nuka guy, so uh so he's a defensive unit but he does increase the allies attacks through doing the super attack. Uh so yeah. This is my team guys. This is how my Patara Fusion team looks. Uh what do you guys think of it? I think it is a beastly team. Certainly a few tweaking to do. Uh, leveling up super attack and Dokkan Awakening and stuff like that so it's not to its full, fullest, potential, fullest potential of course especially with Kefla there, Kefla doesn't, is not in her full potential either but once we get the Dokkan Awakening and we see what she's capable of then we'll know what we can do so yeah, thank you guys for watching my team build on my Patava Fusion category team hope you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did enjoy today's video then smash that like button comment and share and all those good things here to see more content on me doing more Dokkan Battle videos. However, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss a single video from my channel, guys. Whether it's gaming videos, whether it's reaction videos, or whether it's live streams. So as always, guys, this is your boy Dino signing out, and have a nice day. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.